Hey, 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 my elevators. It's L. Beecham, owner, creator, and founder of the Elevate Movement. Today is Monday, November the 28th. Um, and man, let me just tell you how good, you know, the universe is. But I wanted to put you up on a song. Uh, the song is Kenyon Dixon and Susan Carroll. It's called Closer. Somebody put me on to it, and I just want to put y'all on to some good music. It's a, it's a whole vibe, okay? But um, I wanted to talk real quick about transition. Sometimes we don't understand what happens in the middle of transition. So there, there are always points pivotal points critical points between a and b it's not just a and b there are things that you have to do pit stops um transitional pit stops that must occur when you're going from one place to the other from a to b from c to d uh, from one career to another career from one you know salary cap to another from one relationship to another from one friendship to another see we don't typically think about these things but there's a, a an old church song that talks about swift transition when you go through swift transition we don't always think of what we did in the interim understand me go with me we don't always consider think about ponder contemplate the prep work that we did in order to go from one place to the next see we just think god is in a blessing business and this is due to us or this is what's supposed to happen it's designed by god to do x y and z yeah that's only part of it but when you are a person like me and you go deeper you understand that what's actually happening is you are already being prepped and molded in the off season. So it's like I tell people, the summer bodies, summer bodies are made in the winter. Don't start in the summer thinking that you about to have a six pack and a fat ass and all of this for the summer and you started in April or May. That's not how that works. When you start preparation early, early on in your career, early on in the relationship, early on in saving money, you just look up one day and you have arrived at the certain things that you're trying to accomplish because you put in the work before the opportunity came. No opportunity comes to an ill-prepared person. So with that being said, there are many opportunities and we're like, you know, man, God bless me. God did this. God did, you know, did that. Yes, absolutely. But I want you to know that you were not granted and given that from no work. Like you had to work for it. High risk, high return. When you put in work, you start to see the fruit of your labor. So as you start to go through different transitions in life, like understand and, and you know, tell the universe, thank you. Show some gratitude. Because it's not because you are this good and faithful servant that you continue to be blessed. Like you mess up, you make mistakes, you fall short, you do people wrong, you hurt people's feelings. You know, you, you sin, you come short of the glory. I don't want to preach, but understand me where I'm going. So we have to have to have to be able to say thank you in the process. When new opportunities come, when big opportunities come, don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. That means I'm going to go ahead and claim it. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. I'm going to go ahead and start praying for it. I, I, I'm going to uh, fast for it. Um, I'm going to make the sacrifices. I'm going to start doing what I need to do, whether it's researching, whether it's studying, whether it's applying myself, you know, to different positions that I may not even be what I think I may not even be qualified for, but shoot i mean the universe is is the actual sealer of the deal so with that in between transition look between your a's and b's your c's and d's look at the steps appreciate the steps be able to smile in between time don't complain don't be a negative nancy when things are not going your way still find something good to be grateful for 
Like we got a lot to be thankful for and we don't have to, you know, complain so much. So um, remember transition, the importance of transition. You are working in the off season so you can be blessed during the season. That's it. That's it. That's all folks. Like be thankful, be grateful, begin every day with gratitude with gratitude being thankful for the opportunities for the opportunities that you don't even know that's coming for the money that you don't even know that's coming for the people that you don't even know that are coming like be thankful and grateful for all of this because it's for your betterment it's for your higher good it's something else you can add to your repertoire it's an additional skill set job task that you can add to your resume it's some more dollars and cents that you can add to your bottom line like when we are in transition it's for increase an increase doesn't always come financially. Sometimes it's character increase. Sometimes it's friend increase. Sometimes it's relational. So, whew, you don't even understand what I'm going through right now. But, um, child, this how, this how, this how, this how, okay? Um, but it is, it's, it's a lot of things brewing. It's a lot of things brewing in all of our lives. So I just want us to appreciate the transition, be thankful and grateful for what is and for the unknown. That's the key for the unknown. We be so caught up in what's going on right now. If, if you out of job in between jobs, you know, um, in between relationships, just broke up with somebody or, you know, having a problem or a tryst in the relationship like we 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 focus on what is right now. That's not what spirit want us to do. Spirit want us to still look at the relationship as a good thing. Still kiss the person. Still love on them. Be thankful. Be grateful for what is and for what we don't know. And for what is not right now. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So until my next video, elevators, have a good one.